Act 6 of Starlight Carnival. Here we go. And yes, this is uh, all the way up there level. You get more practice with the hover. If you get another of uh, the same type of color, you refill the gauge and you get to start, and you get to have more. Of course, you will, you will fall back down if you, uh, if you run out of time with your hover, you will fall back down. Again, I, I, I will caution you, be careful of enemies as well. You have to be very careful of enemies because they can still hit you and cause you to lose your rings. Of course, you can't die while in the color form, but you can still you lose your rings, and that's the tricky part. See, that just disappeared for no reason. Gotta be careful! And that switch goes too, unfortunately. All the way down, boy! That means we have to start all over again. That's a problem, isn't it? Basically, stick around here if you want to. However, the gauge moves faster the more times you refill it. There's a limit, apparently! Wow! There's actually a limit to this. That's interesting. Wow. 40 times is the limit. I have to land. There we go. Apparently there's a limit to getting a color bonus. Wow, I really didn't know that. And of course, while you're ring dashing, you cannot lose any gauge. It, it's just for your benefit. That's gonna go right about now. I'm going around if you don't mind. Oh shit. Not that kind of around! I wasn't expecting that kind of around! Jeez. Oh fuck. Alright. Uh, we're in the clear for that. No, I'm not! Damn it. I gotta hurry up because I know there's a time limit and it's kind of short. I think it's short. I think it's not the three minute one, but it's a short one. They expect you to finish this kind of quickly. Damn it, time zone! I can't believe this! Wow, that's unfair. Oh man. See, that's what happens when you stand this space too long. I think I still have to go this way anyway. That really fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Told you. No time bonus. No ring bonus. That's what happens when we get time zone. And I got only a solid ring. If I had the massive ring amount that I had, I would have gotten the S. Yes. I think I would have gotten the S. Yes. But yeah. Too bad. Alright. Boss time. Everywhere. Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. And anything suspicious. Like that. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Changes in our caution to avoid leaving, typing, or saving any aliens. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot? You want to do this the hard way, or the easy way? Here's your answer. <laughs> the hard way. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's dance. This, um, this boss is really fun, but it's really hard to get the S here. This boss is really fun, but... What you need to do is quick step exactly 102 times before you can actually start getting the boss. Yeah, I just said that because it's actually true. I just did that by mistake. That's stupid. Okay, 102. Then you start getting closer. You hit something, you get something. Of course. That's usually the way it works around here. I should have gotten the laser to finish it all. to get the S here, but if you do it, and I did it, it's well learned. I had a lot of trouble getting the S here the first time, so, alright. What you have to do, you have to keep your rings though if you want the S, you have to keep your rings. Towards the end, that spike, there are a couple spikes along with the ring bonus you got, so, that was the trick that that robot tried to give you. Hey, Tails. You missed the BBBE. 
the <laughs> best boss ever. So, is the actor giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember this translation stuff isn't a hundred percent. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful yeah. energy source called hyper go ons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life force. And you only want a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. The funny thing, who's first translating as horrible body odor? Anyway, ah. it seems an evil man. And you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair! That's a good That's nickname, to be honest. I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power, all their power, and using it for an evil aquatic mammal? An evil dolphin? No, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. That's good intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? To find Baldy McNose Hair, of course. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. <laughs> Baldy McNose Hair. Next stop. All right, so we'll stop here. We'll get into the Sweet Mountain. Next up.